What's up guys? I'm gonna get right to it and show you how to make your ionotaphoresis kit for hyperhidrosis. I'll show you everything you need first and then I'll take you through step-by-step step on how to do it. So you're gonna need two aluminum. These are just pie pans. Or they don't have to be aluminum, just anything that will conduct electricity. These have been working really well for me. These are two aluminum baking sheets or trays for your feet. Those are for your hands. You're gonna need some sponges. I'll explain that later. Just super thin sponges. You need a battery. This is a 12 volt. Doesn't have to be a 12 volt. Can be more or less. Kind of depends on your state of hyperhidrosis. Mine, I would consider mine pretty bad and 12 volt has been working well for me. Then you're gonna need some alligator clips, some aquaphor, some have some salt and then your water. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is lay down a towel. Don't worry if your towel's not as cool as mine. I understand, it doesn't need to be. Take your aluminum pie pan, the other one, place it right there and you'll get your 12 volt battery. And you gotta hook up your alligator clips. Start on one side. that then you'll take it hook it up to one pan over here if I can make that work take the other one then hook it up right there the important part to remember here is that you don't want these touching um, if you, they do touch they will ruin your battery pretty quickly and then you'll get sparks flying everywhere um, trust me on that one so the next thing you're going to do I guess there's no real particular order. Put your sponges in. This is important because when you do this, you're gonna put your hands in here and you're gonna to want to avoid touching the bottom of your hand to the actual pan. So this sponge allows you to just rest your hand and uh, not tire them out. Trust me, I've tried it that way and it sucks. And it'll take probably two minutes for you to be like, this is terrible. So, and if you're like me and you have huge weird hands, you're gonna need probably two sponges. So, just like that. Then, uh, you're gonna want to fill it with water. Let's see if I can do this one handed. It's kind of up to you on how much water you wanna put in. You just need your palms covered and then, uh, you know, the surface of your fingers. Doesn't need to be completely submerged on your hand. So, that's about good right there. Put this in here. Spilled everywhere. It's fine, it's just for demonstration. And then you're gonna want to put Epsom salt. I should have unscrewed this before because I only have one hand. But it doesn't really matter how much you put in, it's kind of up to you. Just make sure, you know, it's a decent amount. Then here is what I have learned is one of the most important steps. Aquaphor will be your best friend when you do this. Uh, about two or three times in, my skin got really sensitive, started itching. Um, stinging um, and it was really uncomfortable it's already kind of hard to do this because you have to remember to and it's not very fun you kind of just have to sit here while you do it but uh, make sure to put this on your hands your fingers um, anywhere that's going to be involved in the process this will protect it moisturize it keep it from being that much more that much more being more ir irritated than it already is so that's a big help then obviously to start just put your hands in uh, make sure this isn't touching make sure everything's connected you won't really feel anything um so um trust me it is working as long as your battery's not defective uh and then i started doing 20 minutes um every other day or let me say 20 minutes both hands in here after that 20 minutes, switch these. And then do it for another 20 minutes. And then after that, you're good. Um, like I said, it's kind of up to you on your routine. I started every other day, 20 minutes each way. Uh, and then I took it down to 10 minutes each when it uh, started working and I started seeing results. 
And then now I only have to do it probably once or twice every two weeks um, to kind of keep updated with it and keep it working. So you won't have to do it that much besides at the start. Um, so that's all you have to do really for your hands. Then you can probably guess what's coming next. All you have to do is take these. You know, I won't actually do it just to save you some time. But uh, just put these on the floor, connect your clips each side, just like you did with the, your pie pans. Um, and then put your sponges. Like I have really big feet, so I need two. But this is gonna save you a lot of leg ache. But if you want, you know, super buff legs, don't use the sponges and just hover your feet. Wouldn't recommend it, but you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Um, so just kind of do the same thing. Put alcohol four on your feet. Throw in some Epsom salt. Make sure everything's connected. Um, and then same thing. Twenty minutes. Change these up. Twenty minutes there, and you're uh, you're good to go. Um, the last thing I would say is I know some of you are, are probably pretty worried about starting this. Um, it looks very <laughs> intimidating, especially when you put water and batteries and alligator clubs together. Um, it kind of seems like a recipe for pain. And I wouldn't say it's painful. It's kind of irritating, especially for me, if you have, you know, sensitive skin like me. Um, but Alcofor is going to help that. And um, the more you do it, the more you get used to it, um, it's going to be fine. But if you do have any kind of heart condition or anything like that, I would definitely make sure this is... Um, something you can do without you know making anything worse so talk to your dermatologist your doctor whatever you got to do before you start it um it doesn't it ha doesn't hurt you at all all it does is make your life a little bit easier because your hyperhidrosis isn't going to be as crazy so don't be too scared this has worked for a lot a lot of people including myself and i didn't think there would be much of a much hope in treating my hyperhidrosis, especially because there's no, no known cure at the moment, which is kind of depressing, but this is a good place to start. Um, and on that note, I do have a website up. It's called too much sweat.net. I'll put it in the link as well. You can go over there and check out uh, what's worked for me, what hasn't medications, other things you can try besides this. And then I will have all of this stuff available to order at a much cheaper price than you would find anywhere else. Because if you're like me and you researched it, there are prof or professional, but made by big companies that have ions freezes kits that look, you know, great. Um, but they're going to they're going to rob your wallet. I've seen some go up to a thousand dollars there and the least I've seen is two fifty probably last time I checked. So I'm going to have this on my website for cheaper and I'll ship it out to you guys as soon as possible. I, uh, I, I wanna see if this, guy, this can help you guys because um, hyperhidrosis just sucks. I don't need to tell you guys that, but um, give this a shot. I know you guys might think it's not gonna work, but it's worth a shot because it has helped me and I think it can help you guys as well. So um, comment in the comments below if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, thanks for watching, see you guys later.